pretty kitty. This is my vlog where I talk about all the things I love about sewing. Um, welcome back to my subscribers and if this is the first time you've watched please press the like button and subscribe um, if you like my video. So today I'm going to talk about twin needling. I know um, lots of people have asked me if I would do a sort of tutorial and um, I would love to do that sort of thing. I just have limitations at the moment with my equipment so being able to film myself sewing it's a bit tricky um, but I wanted to talk about twin needling today because lots of people are unsure whether or not they would like to buy um, a cover stitch machine. I nearly forgot what it was called then. And a cover stitch machine will hem your garments made of jersey or lycra uh, in a really professional manner. They're obviously quite expensive um, investments. And today I wanted to talk to you about the fact that you don't have to have a cover stitch machine to uh, finish your garments off really professionally if you're using um, uh, knit fabric. So um, I am assuming that you might have an overlocker for sewing knit fabric, but if you don't, you don't have to have an overlocker in order to finish the seams this way. It just makes it look extra specially um, pretty on the inside of your garments. So um, you guys will know that I am a jersey addict. I've been sewing most of uh, Tilly and the Buttons patterns from her stretch book and the Frankie baseball tee is my absolute favourite um, of her patterns. So I've made three versions of this t-shirt so far. It's really comfortable, it fits nicely and um, I can just trace it out. Uh, in fact I don't need to trace it out anymore because I have made it that many times. I've, got my, I've made myself um, my own pattern so it can probably take me 45 minutes to knock one of these t-shirts out. And it's a really good stash buster because you don't need that much fabric if you choose to go with a contrast sleeve and um, neckband actually you can make one of these t-shirts out quite a small amount of jersey so what I like to do when I finish my, my um, hems off is to overlock the fabric first on my overlocker so go right the way around the uh, seam itself on the overlocker and finish it off now you don't need to do that with jersey, jersey doesn't fray but I think it really gives a really neat finish to the inside of the garment if you do do that um, and like I said if you haven't got an overlocker some machines do come with an overlock stitch which you could use or you don't need to worry too much like I said it won't fray if you don't overlock it, it just won't look quite as neat and um, from this is what the seam looks like on the other side so you've got uh, two parallel lines of stitching which is what professionally made garments look like when they're hemmed and on the inside you've got the overlocking and the zigzag from the twin needle. Um, so there are different types of twin needles that you can buy. One thing I didn't appreciate when I first started twin needling is that you can buy uh, twin needles that don't aren't made for stretch fabric. So be careful because I did buy a twin needle and then use it and think why is this not working and obviously with a jersey fabric you need a needle with a bit of a ballpoint end on it so that it um, parts the fibres rather than pierces them and um, yeah so there are lots of different makes uh, they come in different widths as well so I'll just show you this is a um, Schmetz one and it says on there stretch twin needle and this one is actually quite a wide twin needle um, and I tend to prefer the narrower twin needle for um, using on my garments. So my favourite make is organ and this actually this needle come, came from my mum's stash uh, and this is a nice narrow width and it works really well on jersey fabric so I'm going to need to source some more of these because this has ended up being my favourite. Um, so I have recorded a short video of me sat at my sewing machine with my machine threaded up and ready to go so I will insert that here. Okay so here we are sat at my sewing machine. I've got a Fristron Rossman Quilters Edition and what you need to be doing is having a second bobbin on the spool that you pop on to do your bobbin winding and then your ordinary thread so this way you don't need two spools of the same color thread and then you thread your machine up as normal 
But down the bottom here, as you can see, hopefully, the thread, one of the threads is going through the thread guard at the top of the needle and the other one isn't. And this is to stop them tangling up because quite often you get tangled here and then you find that the needles stick together. And if you only put one of the threads through that small hook there, you'll find that they won't do that so badly. So I've also got my bobbin thread in here. This is a really handy little gadget. I don't use it all that often. I normally only use it for twin needling because it helps because you can't see the reverse of your fabric. You have to do it from the top side. This just helps you to make sure you get a nice straight edge. Um, I know beginner sewers often find it quite hard to follow these lines on here. And when I'm sewing normally, I don't normally have a problem. But this little gadget is really handy. It's got a magnet on the back and then you can just stick it on your needle plate and move it to where you need to be. So uh, yeah, nice straight edge. Next thing I'll do is show you once I get the fabric underneath the machine. Okay, so the fabric is now underneath the machine foot. I'm doing a sleeve on my Frankie baseball top and I have turned the sleeve inside out so that it's much easier to sew. Um, I've also, I've got an overlocker, but I know several, you know, people don't always have overlockers. So what I tend to do is overlock the raw edge first and then turn it over and iron it into position. And then it doesn't really matter whether or not your twin needling catches the edge of the fabric because it's going to look really neat and tidy no matter what. Um, you could use an ordinary sewing machine to zigzag finish the edge but with jersey you don't need to um, finish the edges because the fabric doesn't fray so it's really entirely up to you what you prefer I think that it looks nice neat and professional with a nice um, finished edge so that's why I do it so as you can see I also can feel because I finished that overlock edge I can feel on the edge of the fabric where I need to sew and I've popped my magnetic seam guide there too. So um, I'm just going to start sewing, this is going to be tricky as so I've only got my phone to, to show you but I will just do uh, a little row of stitching so you can see what it looks like. Okay, sometimes you can choose to um, lengthen the stitch if you find that um, it's a bit tricky. Uh, I'm currently on a stitch length of 2.4 and this is a really nice jersey and I've got a decent quality um, stretch twin needle so I'm not having a problem with that but you can um, increase the stitch length up to 2.8 if you want to and to see if that makes life a bit easier but you know you just continue to sew all the way around feeling for the edge of the fabric with your fingers and catching that underneath and then I will show you what it looks like when it's finished so here we are here it is finished so you can see this is the reverse side of the sleeve and this is the right side so we've got nice neat twin needling all the way around at an even, uh, evenly spaced from the edge and then the inside looks just as lovely and the needle, the, the threads did start to get a little bit tangled just, can you see towards the end of the stitching they've gotten a bit tangled and in that situation you just need to stop and re-thread the two top threads and then keep keep going but I think it's fairly inevitable that you get a bit of tangling with a twin needle because you've got two threads running through and that's it. So I hope you found that video uh, informative and it's given you a good reason to have a go with a twin needle. It's really not that scary. It takes a, just a tiny bit of practice but once you've got it uh, down you will be so pleased because all of your garments will look so lovely and professional and like I said you have really no need to buy a cover stitch machine unless your budget allows and you want one in which case go for it so yeah thanks very much for watching uh, I hope you liked my video if you did please press the uh, thumbs up button and subscribe to catch up with more of my future videos thanks very much bye